Texas cops, they shoot a woman in her own apartment doing nothing illegal, no crime. Here it is. They're literally trying to kill anything that's moving. Put up the picture full of ass. Nobody committed a crime. Nobody was threatening the cops. They just started shooting. This is a hell of a story. Texas cops shoot a black woman through her apartment door. Ebony Pouchy, okay? Houston, Texas. Ebony was shot multiple times in her own home after being mistaken for an intruder. Miraculously, she survived the encounter. In the pre-dawn hours of February 3rd, Harris County, Texas deputies approached a Houston apartment with guns drawn. The incident started when officers were called to an apartment complex in the middle of the night on a suspected intruder call. After arriving and finding nothing amiss, the deputies were approached by a resident who reported hearing glass break in an upstairs unit, okay? LaRonda Berry rents the apartment where the shooting took place and says she had returned home with Ebony that morning. Quote, we realized we did not have the key. I told Ebony, go ahead and break the window, said LaRonda Berry, who also lives in the apartment. A short time later, Barry says she recalls a loud banging at the door. Ebony grabbed her gun, ran to the door. Once again, nothing criminal about any of this. It's nothing criminal about uh, bearing arms. It's nothing criminal about utilizing extra uh, means in order to get into your place because you don't have a key. I've done it myself. Okay, I've left my key somewhere and I had to break a window pane. I had to pay for it later. I had to get inside of my home. She almost died. Then one deputy sees a woman coming toward the door inside. The deputies fire multiple shots into the apartment, no threat, reloaded their gun and shot again. Inside, Ebony was hit multiple times. She got shot in the leg and in the torso many places, said Ben Crump, her attorney. Crump called the deputy's actions impulsive and demanded a statement in a statement that they immediately be held accountable for his client's terrible injuries. Response from the police. So the Harris County Sheriff's Office says that Ebony was given life-saving care at the hospital, taken to the hospital. They confirmed a handgun was found at the scene and both they and the DA's office are investigating. The deputies involved are at administrative leave per department policy. Once their investigation is complete, the County Sheriff's Office will present their findings to the DA for review by an independent grand jury, put up the sheriff. Uh, This is Ed Gonzalez, he oversees the Harris County Sheriff's Office. Um, Now, Sheriff, you may be able to say, okay, they did not intentionally try to kill anybody, but this is absolutely criminal negligence. It's wanton endangerment, if nothing else. Uh, These are crimes, and I would imagine they probably fudged the police report. But what in the hell, man? People have the right to answer their door with a gun on their side. This is a constitutionally protected right. Oh, I'm sorry. They're black. So that means they are criminals answering the door in their own home. Uh, Jackson, we did not hear any warning. We did not hear, drop the gun. Nothing. They just start shooting. And, and damn, they killed this woman. 
and then reloaded. That was that was the craziest part of the whole thing. I mean, not that the whole video was di wasn't difficult to watch, but the reloading and then the taking the time and then letting it out. Like you don't think you probably hit them already, but also too, I mean, this is Texas. Uh, people have guns legally in Texas. It's not even like you have the excuse of oh, we're in a state where you can't legally have those types of firearms. Right. So I mean, no matter how you look at this, I mean these these look like like people who like were posing as police officers pretending to be and like they shouldn't be doing the job whatsoever. I mean, how embarrassing is this to the police department? Not that yeah. they're ashamed of it, um, but I mean, this just looks horrible. Nothing yeah. about it was professional. There's nothing good to say about it whatsoever. Luckily, she survived, uh, but that easily could have not been the case because they unloaded uh, two whole clips on her. Yep. So, and uh, naturally, she's going to have her, her life is different. Obviously, I mean, she was shot many times and shot in some very distinct places. So her life is completely different today than it was before she went to sleep that night. Uh, the police should be held accountable.